So today on Have a Knife Day, let's talk about tomahawks. That's right. So we have a tomahawk right here from the American Tomahawk Company. Now the American Tomahawk Company is a US-based company which manufactures modern tomahawks for use by the US military. It was founded in 1966 by Peter Lagana to make tomahawks for the Vietnam War and Unfortunately, the company folded in the 70s. Now, ATC, ATC, American Tomahawk Company, was revived in March 2019 by RMJ Tactical to produce tomahawks for a wide range of outdoor uses and to continue on the great military history of the company. The famous VTAC has been revised, updated, and reintroduced as the Model 1 Tomahawk. All right, you're like, hey, didn't you already do a video on this? And you're like, and I'm like, yeah, I have, but there's more. Okay. So this has a shoulder strap option, kydex sheath, pull the dot. Okay, we're gonna pop it out. <laughs> That's right, no blood today, boys and girls. So we look at the VTAC, the Vietnam Tactical Tomahawk. Mr. Lagana is a uh, Marine Corps veteran. Unfortunately, he is no longer amongst us, but does not detract from the fact that he's still a Marine. That's right. We appreciate our other branches. You see, we might be different branches in the military, but we're all part of the same tree of freedom. You see the synthetic. We have a nice lanyard hole. There's a nice design here. It's kind of hard to see, but I will be posting pictures for you later on so you may look at your leisure. The Model 1 head is made from Drop Force 1060 carbon steel HRC 56 and is powder coated black for corrosion resistance. Handle options DuPont the Super Tough Nylon 66 STN 66. Now you do have an option of going with the Tennessee Hickory uh, flamed and lacquered wooden handle, more of a traditional, I dare say Mr. Lagana. Uh, he, he made these from his experience in the Marine Corps and the fact that I do believe he has uh, Native American heritage in his family line. Not all axes are tomahawks, but all tomahawks are axes and have been an integral part of our history even before the foundation of the country itself. Native Americans used them with uh, stone heads, and then the Europeans came over and were trading with the Native American population, our indigenous population, if you, if you want to say. And once they got the, the steel-headed trade hawks in there, man, it, it just fit in like pockets on blue jeans. You know what I'm saying? And I, I really appreciate this. Some of my favorite movies, if you couldn't tell already, uh, Last of the Mohicans and The Patriot. And that's why I own many tomahawks. But I digress, since that is apparently a phrase that is being used a lot right now so I'm also gonna pop up a couple of, of pictures of news articles that mr. Lagana talking about how the VTAC even you know for a little while there it looked like the Marine Corps were going to adopt these but then it dropped through I think um, some of it might have had to do with political reasons because you know Instead of giving a tomahawk to do close quarter combat, um, e-tools and other other things, but individual Marines and military personnel spent their own money on these, and there are so many uh, instances, you know, of them contributing it to uh, clearing out brush to make a DZ for helicopter to come in. Uh, how they used it to uh, clear villages because the doors would be booby trapped and they would knock a hole in the wall and do that. And also being attacked by, uh, there was a, a fella over in Vietnam and he was attacked by two VC and pulled out his tomahawk and utilized this to dispatch those two foes. Ta-da! And 
I hope you enjoy reading up on this history. I'm also going to throw this in. Uh, looking back to the Vietnam War, U.S. Special Forces had been negotiating with Peter Lagana, the founder of the American Tomahawk Company, in order to produce tomahawks for them. According to the Mountaineer Her Herald of Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, they specifically sought its effectiveness in close quarter combat. Reports of its success in combat appear to be numerous. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now that I have uh, reintroduced you to the Model 1, let me go get something else. Okay, so that something else starts with this envelope here with the American Tomahawk logo. Let's, I haven't opened it yet. I just got this uh, Friday, this being a Sunday. Let me see if I can. <laughs> All right, am I going to be able to do it? Am I going to make an omelet or mash, oh, mashed potatoes? God. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> an omelet or scrambled eggs. There you go. So I can pop this open real quick. It's not going to be real quick. And there we go. So this is one of the things. I got with my new tomahawk from American Tomahawk Company. As I told you earlier, shared with you, this was uh, resurrected from the grave by RMJ Tactical Ryan M. Johnson. I have uh, my first tomahawk, you know, have a knife day's first uh, tomahawk uh, setup kit was a Shrike. That's right. And these are way more affordable with high quality and affordability because you know uh, your enlisted man or woman necessarily doesn't have many hundreds of the dollars to buy stuff so this is a lot more affordable limited lifetime warranty pull the dot snap instructions Shows you how to set up your mock straps, depending uh, if you wanted to ride higher or l lower. This is, as you can tell right here, meant to be split by a belt loop so it doesn't slide all over the place. But this is a low ride, and you pull it from the bottom. And, will you look at that? There's a nice new sticker. Hot to get a dog. So, this is the Model 2. Now, the Model 2, uh, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> um, Viking culture is really quite popular in Hollywood and the warrior communities in our military. Now, I'm going to see if I can pull this dot. Urgh, okay. Just to let you know, this is just not going to pop out. So, let's take a look at the difference. Let me see if I could do this without too much drama there we go once again a beautiful kydex sheet multiple lashing points pull the dot put that right over here and let's take a look at this that's right uh, inside of my head you know copyright infringement uh you know you get struck on youtube pretty easily it seems but inside of my head is the bow bow from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's right. Uh, this is a good looking axe. So you can see, compared to the VTEC, the Vietnam Tactical, this has an increased cutting surface with a beard. The recurve is not sharpened, probably for a good reason. It does give you the ability, and you'll hear about this later on, to choke up. So you can do, you know, if you want to do some feather sticking or whatever you're going to be doing. Uh, the hammerhead, a true hammerhead, as they say. So you can use it to hammer things. Maybe you want to open up some clams or some oysters or maybe uh, <laughs> a meth head, you know. Uh, we, we do not uh, you know, recommend people use these to defend themselves from drugged out weirdos. But there it is, you know, once again, that really nice little logo here. Lanyard through and through. So, I'm going to read this to you. The Model 2 is a robust hammer pole tomahawk 
with an aggressive 4.125 inch cutting edge. Combine that with a straight handle makes it a well-balanced tool that offers incredible cutting capability. In addition to the sharpened main edge, the Model 2 has a true hammer at the back of the head, making it a great companion around the camp. The bearded designs allow for a high grip, facilitating more accurate, fine motor skill work. The Model 2 features a black powder coat finish for corrosion and wear resistance. Included is a bottom eject molded kydex sheath with low ride MOC strapped for belt carry. This comes in with an overall length of 14.25 inches, a head length of 6.75 inches, cutting length 4.125 inch, weighing in at a svelte 23.5 ounces without the sheath. Blade material, drop forge 1060, black powder coat finish, handle material STN 66, super tough nylon sheath kydex scabbard with low ride mock straps. And, uh, of course, this is why I wanted to, you know, from the, the original Ghana to going forward with um, the RMJ Tactical. Uh, if you do follow RMJ Tactical's collaborations with, say, CRKT, uh, you will see that um, in the industry, by and large, the bearded uh, Viking, quotes, style <laughs> axes are quite popular. So, there you go. Pretty cool, huh? But I got something. All right, so here is our heat gun. That's right, remember, safety first. Do not cover yourself with cologne. And then, um, you know, use this because you might catch yourself on fire. Yeah, that's what we have to do. So this is heat shrink. So just remember you need heat to shrink it. My first time. Oh, that is a little warm. I don't know if this is going to work. But we're going to try it here. You're like, now, man, you know, have a nice day. They just keep it so exciting. It actually seems to have some kind of... Well, let's dial it up a notch on it. Well, that seems to be doing it. <laughs> Paperwork, you know, paper and, you know, heat. That's, that's an awesome thing. Oh, these are the mock straps. So there you go. I thought I'd throw in there haphazardly as I do this. Who knows, I might even speed this up post-production. I don't know if you can tell, uh, Jet, the uh, ambassador cat, is wandering around as I do this. Earlier today, he did bring me an offering of a lizard in exchange for a handful of treats. I do catch and release. I like my neighbor's cat. And I tell you what, he is very proficient in catching lizards and birds. And he's just looking like I've got the devil in my hand with this thing. Now you can see that the textured handle is coming through. Now, on another tomahawk of mine, I got one from uh, Along Came a Spider, and that was called a Genzo Hawk, and it has a synthetic handle. I like this synthetic handle more, just to let you know. It was a bit on the thin side, so what I did is I went over to a sporting goods company that's named after a gentleman's sausage. That's right, I just said that. Hold on to your hats, people. We're getting spicy. Now let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's grab this. Right, it's hot. Ah! Let's press down on this a little bit to get some more of that. Whew, that's a little oh, warm. It's a, whew, it's, look at that. It's smoking. That's, that's hot. Thank you. 
give it over to my lovely assistant, Mrs. Miss Have a Knife Day. My smoking hot assistant. That's right, she's using it as a gun now. Um, nice. Much more grippy. So there you go. I got this on Amazon. If you so desire, I can give you the link. Just let me know. As you also are well aware, um, I am going to be cutting this out here pretty quickly. Also, what I was saying before is I am not sponsored by anybody. Everything is out of my own pocket, much to the sadness of my wife. That's right. I told her it was either, you know, collecting, collecting knives or uh, meth. So I, I chose the wiser thing. So I'm collecting blades and I'm leaving the meth for uh, politicians' sons. You know, they need all the meth they can get. So there you go. And uh, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? We will be right back. So I went out to cut this out and well, let's just say it didn't work out really well. And if you wanted to know what it looked like on the inside one of these things, it does pick up the texture of the handle very, very nicely. Very, very nicely. Now, my, I, I suppose the problem that I ran into is that I, after the good idea of cutting a hole in this, I decided to have another good idea and throw the heat gun on it and it pulled it away here and made it look fugly. That's right. So, you know, I was using my little Super Tool 300 over here, my Super Tool 300, uh, I said that twice. And uh, it just didn't work out. How long will this last? I do not currently know, but I can tell you what, it's a lot more positive control in the hand. Uh, if you want a short choke up on it, uh, mid choke, full choke, choke it, choke it, do all that other stuff. It turned out really nice. We shall see, we shall see. So uh, remember always to subscribe. That's right, we're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers on the channel and that would just be super cool thank you so much for spending some time with me and remember if you need a life hack might as well just a fine tomahawk from american tomahawk company and as always have a nice day